Alright. What will happen when, when this Pokemon loses its PP? Uh, it can't use moves. Perfectly correct. When a Pokemon runs out of its PP, it can no longer use its moves. <laughs> Each move has its own, own set of PP, so you can mitigate PP loss by a variety of... More than, to, <laughs> if a Pokemon loses all PP for its moves, it will be able to... I can't, I can't say this with, I can't do this with a straight face. In order to avoid this predicament, PP can be restored for once very long with HP. Big Bang Strange, one of the curse items only has to say, Elms. Um, five second rule, Qu catch and release. Also, sucks to suck to be them, especially if their mood is in that mood. <laughs> Three more classes left! Pencils, Orenberry, yes. I think we nailed that one. Pretty sure. A couple ones I had to think about. Also, I can't read, apparently. I like, triple read that last question. Oh! Three out of five- we almost failed. But yeah, that was an Asian fail. <laughs> I bet you the last two when I like stopped reading. Dun, 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 dun. I did quite well. I got three out of five. Bam, bam. 
two more classes! <laughs> Clean them up. Class. Freedom. Yeah, okay. Can't pick our own clothes. We can't even pick our shirts and shirts. The last exam, and we're done. Oh, Mac, fine. Only meal parts may just come across. Uh, that would be sparkling. Um, trunk pull. This is the entry exam. <laughs> Welcome to heck. the hell. <laughs> Welcome to heck. Eternal exams. What's heck? Is that the wish brand of he hell? <laughs> Is that the the hell? Is that hell out out in the boonies? <laughs> oh, what is the simple yet important tactic for increasing the effectiveness? Uh, make food with others. This correct action take when you're working with a Pokemon wash. Quite a bit of Should you change your uniform to probably match each season? It doesn't matter. Yes, heck is the wish friend version of hell. Ah! Okay. So you're saying it's the Duke. <laughs> Did 
Did you see Darkshire? Did you see the? You saw that article, right? About the uh, the Toronto person that went to that to Edmonton. Have fun. You too, Danny. You have a good night. Have fun in Pathfinder. Do 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 do. Five out of five. Nailed it. With that. Ooh! All class is done. Wow. That was rude. Super rude. Uncalled for. Okay, anyways. <laughs> You're too late, Sonic. I am now forklift certified. <laughs> say more Calgary during a hockey game. Oh my God. But Darkstar, did, did you see that article about the Toronto person that moved to? Oh, you haven't? It's on Twitter. Oh my God. So there's two. St there's there's a there's an update to this story too. But apparently, this lady packed up her bags and stuff and whatnot and moved to. Fuck it. She she moved to Edmonton where I where we are right, and from Toronto to Edmonton. And she would complain that Edmonton, you know, rightfully named Edmonton, you know, had no, it was like, there's no life in Edmonton, nothing to do, no nightlife activities, she had, she couldn't find any friends, like, there's like nobody, there's no events or anything, the, the city itself is dead, there's nothing going on in the city, basically. And so she, like, in her, in her anger, she, like, packed her stuff up, and, oh, and the dating scene was crap. So... After living in Edmonton for a couple months, she packed up her bags and went back, uh, went back, went back home to Toronto. <laughs> Turns out she moved to Leduc, not Edmonton. Apparently, at the, the start of the story says she moved to Leduc, not Edmonton. And I was, and everyone's just like, hold up, you're saying Edmonton is trash, but you lived in Leduc. City bottles. What city of? Champions, aren't we? Oh, I'm talking. <laughs> Anyways, today there's an update. Um, it wasn't it wasn't uh, Leduc that she moved to. Apparently, apparently it's Windermere. Um, and I'm just re listening to this going, ma'am. I don't like my city. I'm not gonna lie. Like I I I love my city, but I also don't care for my city. Right? I understand the meme behind Deadminton. Right? But you are, you are way overstating when you say like there's nothing to do in Edmonton. There's a lot to do here, even in the winter. <laughs> Just have to actually freaking look. <laughs> yeah, that was a, uh, was interesting. All right. Um. Get two. Alright, let's, okay, let's train to 65. Should try going outside? I don't know, I don't think she did. She just said she looked, it feels like she looked out the window and saw nobody, said there's no life here and called it a day. <laughs> but yeah. You should, uh, you should Google it. <laughs> or if you're on Twitter, just, like, t uh, search Leduc and Windermere and, like, the article will pop up. Great. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. This place, this place is... It's not the, it's not the liveliest. But it does have life. <laughs> Leveling to 
even Edmonton. Got West End, Rabbit Hill, River Valley itself, numerous parks, they just off the top of my head. And actually she was talking about the like nightlife, yes and no, but like there's White Ave in downtown, like that's all lively, as far as I'm aware. Aren't able to get to. Aren't able to get to 65. We're getting close enough. Wait. No, I don't want that. Nightlife is more active during the summer for sure, but yeah, there's still nightlife. Yeah, you just don't bar hop in the winter, right? You just pick one of the popular bars and you go to that and stay for the night. Right? If, if anything, it's cozy. Dead. Yeah. All right, got a bunch of this stuff to do. But yeah, it's it's caused an uproar, like like, like especially in like the arguments, because like you know there are Edmontonians who are who are like, yes, you're right, this is dead city. And then, and then there are others like, no, it's not, because you have all this stuff. You just need to be adventurous and look out, go out and grab it. Yeah, she was. That's the other point. She was comparing Edmonton to Toronto, right? Like, uh, do I find? Do we find my classes difficult? Uh, it's a bit. No, it's just right for me. Yeah, it's really good to hear. But yeah, today's update, she she uh, she got it wrong. She didn't live in the Duke. She lived in Windermere apparently, which I don't buy. I call that I call bull. <laughs> Choose to take on the gym as part of your treasure hunt. That must mean you like a Pokemon battles, is that correct? Because there's no way a Toronto person could sell their stuff and buy a house in Windermere. Like, I don't believe that. I don't believe a, a person in Toronto, with how much an average Toronto person earns, can pack up their stuff and buy a, a house in Windermere. For the rest of people in chat who don't know, Windermere is a very, very rich area. It's All the houses are at least over 800k. Minimum. So, like, I don't believe she bought a house in Windermere. I believe she went to the Duke. <laughs> is you like Pokemon, is that true? Yes, I do like battles. What now you become skilled at doing what they enjoy? That must be why you're so strong. Ah, uh, do you forgive me for speaking such an odd question upon you so suddenly? I have to find myself pondering the nature of strength these days. Anyway, thank you again for your input, bro. Possible, but we're owing a large mortgage. Well, she moved back, right? I think she moved back. And it's just like... So, like, I don't... She, it had to be Leduc. Like, no way. As a single, I think she was, I don't know if she's single actually. I think she's single, but like, still. So yeah, that, yeah, it's, on the bright side, you know, our city's on the map now because, you know, been recognized for being a dead city. Uh, let's see, right today. For the Calgary streamer cussing at a viewer. Was he Calgary? I know he was Canadian. I didn't know he was Calgary. Makes sense if he's from Calgary. Calgary people are douches. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Arctic. I apologize, Arctic. <laughs> and every other person I... I didn't know he was Calgary. I thought... I knew he was Canadian. I... I... thought Calgary and I'm like, of course it is. <laughs> I, I saw the Canadian and I instantly assumed, like, Toronto. I assumed Toronto, Ontario, somewhere eastern. <laughs> but from 1A, Rosary 2 has always seen you bombarding from all sides. My activities. Honestly, I'm 50 50 on that, or what he did. I don't agree with what he did. But 
we I also like I saw some of the comments of we don't know the circumstances, right? Like apparently the circumstances is that he's been somebody some people have been trauma dumping on his stream for like a week. And in that case, like I would also be I would have that same mind attitude as well. If like my chat's been trauma dumping for a week straight, like like every every stream is a is a trauma dump, I would be the same as well and at the end be like, all right, I, I've had enough of a week worth of trauma dumping, right? <laughs> Twitch is not a place to dump uh, dump trauma. On the other hand, his responses suck. His response is just terrible. Just, yeah, <laughs> Calgarians, right? Can't drive, can't speak, but they managed to be a center of business. So no, I'm joking. <laughs> they can't drive, but I'm. Did you know there's a suburb in Toronto called the? Oh, is there? I did not know that. Yeah, though it didn't feel like a trauma dump. Just a quick update. He specifically asked him. It was cut though. It 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 was um like that whole video was clipped. Like, like, that's not a, like, a solid segment. That's a, that's clip from clip to clip. That's, that's the thing, right? Like, I didn't watch, I didn't watch this entire stream, so that's someone who went in and clipped that stuff, right? Danny, I thought you went to bed. Go play Pathfinder. <laughs> Need people from all over talk about how strong of a battle you are and the amazing fun we've taken along with you. Yeah, his follow-ups have been sh were shit though. I don't agree with his follow-ups either. They were all shit responses. Like, if anything, you just say I, my condolences and like that's it. Sure, they got the right Leduc. I mean, regardless, her arguments are are like her argument, like her points were like invalid, right? Say that this play, like Edmonton, has no life and no, nothing to do in Edmonton. It's a dead place, like. Like I said, I don't care. I, I I I understand the meme, but I I I st I would disagree with that statement, right? Oh, my kingdom's come somebody to you. It's rough for the Academy students. Hey, the line sharing the latest gossip and and the like while enjoying a light snack. After his apology video, he was praying to God during the stream, asking for sure. Oh, okay. So he is just a douche. Okay. <laughs> Steve? Put his name down. Just for future collections. <laughs> I'm sh I'm <laughs> yeah, I know. Just start digging that game. I was just like... <laughs> I just thought of him. just like... When his time comes... We'll probably see him in hell. Just saying. <laughs> I very much enjoy having them see me again. What are we getting for di- I already sent the place, did I not? Did I not message you the place? Uh, it's downtown. I didn't. Um... Sorry, I'm gonna actually look at my phone. I thought I- I, I thought I put it in. No, I didn't. Okay, I'll put it in. Might have... Oh, have I missed... No, no, I didn't. Because I, cause I'm the media between everybody, right? I just realized I didn't set tell B... Um... I was thinking we get to that place at 7. If it's busy, because we can just wait. Sorry, we're talking plants, chat. Um, I was thinking we get to that place at yeah. seven, so I mean, and we have to pick up B. So we'll probably have to leave earlier. Okay, six. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of, like leaving at six thirty, six forty-five. Oh, it's a date. Oh, this is gonna be off. Gonna bring a date to meet B and me? Why? Why us? 
Also, congrats on the date. Get bad idea. Yeah, six thirty will fine. Here to eat as well? Yeah, starving. <laughs> Actually, you shouldn't bow on an empty stomach. <laughs> you joined us for a Roy Saturday too, I figured. Oh. Does said person have a name? Or should be or you'll introduce me tomorrow us tomorrow. Also, how long has this been going on and how have you not said anything to your to us? What the hell? What the what the living crap? Where did you meet? I need to know. I want details. Or if you don't want to say on stream, that's fine. <laughs> Old high school friend gone out of food. Oh, okay. What's hey. oh, there? No, have a peanut butter sandwich! Ah, yes, you said. You said. Well, I should have to try one of you. Fair enough. Of course, Mrs. Orson is spicy, my least favorite flavors. Thank you for restraining me, Miss Rose. It seems that the students tend to view me as a fashionable core, if you dare say it. A student sort of brooding rate strength. I have a habit of acting in such a way as not to destroy the image of me. I showed my true colors to you just now without thinking. Please keep this a secret between us. Peanut butter? Yes. Yes. Something we can't have. Yet. Unless we unless we really want to. Honestly, every time I think about the, the, the pact, I imagine the, pe the peanut pact, I imagine it like, um... You know, you know when you're when when like in the movies when uh, like the U.S. has is launching nuclear missiles, right? I imagine it's like De like Defcon Five, like me and Marcus have like keys or something that like unlock a peanut butter Reese cup or something, and it, and it requires like voice identification and <laughs> all that all that jazz. <laughs> Is <laughs> it a key that spoons? Yeah, we insert the spoon. We have there are two spoons in our downstairs in our kitchen drawers. Uh, one for me and one for Marcus. Only Marcus and I know which identifying number on the back on the. There's an 